Hey there friends, it's Laurie. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm making a fall red truck welcome wreath and I used mostly Dollar Tree supplies. The craziest thing happened while I was filming the wreath on my barn. The bottom part of the truck looks green but it's actually a shiny silver and I think it was picking up the reflection from the grass. As we work along I'll show you the true color of the sign so let's get busy. Getting started, I'm using a 14 inch grapevine wreath. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby for $4.99, but you can pretty much get these anywhere. I know they sell them at Michael's, at Joann's, and even at Walmart. For the first layer on my wreath, I'm using a stem of large fall maple leaves with bright colors and another stem of smaller maple leaves, and these are a bit more muted in color. These came from the Dollar Tree along with two stems of brown and cream leaves and these came with a sprig of berries. Before I can attach the leaves, I'm cutting them free from the main stem. I'm starting with the brightly colored fall leaves and now that I have a pile, I'm adding them to the wreath by slipping the stems between the twigs. I'm starting with the larger, brighter leaves first, and I don't have a specific place where I'm placing them. I'm just kind of adding them here and there to fill out the form. I'm now adding in the smaller fall leaves, and I'm just placing these in the open spaces. And as you can see, I'm not being that fussy. I'm just kind of placing them here and there. This is just a base for the wreath and the best part is if you don't like the placement, just pop the leaves out and put them someplace else. To add in my neutral colored leaves, I'm first removing them from the main stem. And now just like the other leaves, I'm adding them in and filling in the open spaces. As I'm adding them in, I'm making sure to tuck them on the inside and the outside so that the wreath has a somewhat rounded appearance. I'm using four bunches of leaves, but if you want a fuller wreath, you can always add on a few more. With the leaves in place, I'm going to make two bows for my wreath and I'm using my Easy Bow Maker. For all my friends that have asked, I picked this up on Amazon and it really does make it much easier to make your bows. For the two bows, I'm using a two and a half inch buffalo check ribbon from the Dollar Tree and a one and one half inch white ribbon from Michaels and this has a checkered pattern. I'm also using a one, one and a half inch orange polka dot ribbon from Hobby Lobby and all three of these are wired. And then I'm using a one and one half inch buffalo plaid ribbon from Hobby Lobby and this comes without wire. Then to attach the two bows together, I'm using two 12 inch pieces of floral wire. I'm starting with the buffalo check ribbon and giving myself a five inch tail and then two four inch loops. And when I'm done, I'm then giving myself another five inch tail. I'm now adding my white ribbon and once again, I'm giving myself a five inch tail, but this time I'm going to give myself four four inch loops and then finish off once again with a five inch tail. For the orange polka dot ribbon, I'm once again giving it two five inch tails but this time I'm giving it two three and a half inch loops. To finish up my bow, I'm using the buffalo plaid and once again, I'm giving myself two five inch tails and two three and a half inch loops. With my bow complete, I remove it from the bow maker and using my floral wire, I place it over the center of the ribbons and then twist it together tightly. Once it's secure together, I then just open all the loops. I'm going to dovetail the ribbon ends and this is super easy. All you need to do is fold the ribbon in half and then cut away the end at an angle. 
When I was done, I made a second matching bow, and now it's time to attach them to the wreath. I'm popping in here quickly to say, if you're one of my returning friends, you know I'm always so happy to see you and I love reading your comments below. If you're new to my channel and you're enjoying my video so far, please consider clicking on that little red subscribe button below and leaving me a big thumbs up. And you can always tap on that notification bell and it will notify you every time I upload a new video. To attach my first bow, I'm making sure that both ends of the wire are open. I moved the leaves out of the way and slipped both ends of the wire through the grapevine wreath and then twisted them together on the bottom. I folded over the excess wire and to attach my second bow. I followed the exact same instructions and this time I attached it at a slight angle from the first. With both of my bows attached, I'm now using my hot glue gun and adding a dot of hot glue to each of the leaf stems to help hold them in place. For the center of my wreath, I'm using this cute welcome sign with a little red truck holding the pumpkins and this came from the Dollar Tree. And as you can see here, the bottom is a shiny silver. I removed the hanger and I cut off the tails from the bow because it was covering the W. I don't want my sign to sit flat against the inside of the wreath, so I'm using four of the tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree to raise it up. I added some hot glue to each side and attached one tumbling tower block. Once I had those in place, I added on some more hot glue and attached the next two. I slipped my sign inside the center of the wreath and lined the blocks up on the side. Happy with the placement of my sign, I then added some hot glue to the blocks and attached them to the wreath. To attach the top and the bottom of the sign, I'm using two more pieces of the 12 inch floral wire. I folded both pieces in half and then added some hot glue to the top of the sign. I placed the folded end of the wire in the hot glue and held it in place until it set up. I then followed the same instructions for my second piece. With the glue cooled, I pushed the wire through a few of the grapevine sprigs and then twisted the two ends together. I folded over the excess wire, but you can always snip this off if you'd like. Now that I have one side attached, I then did the same thing on the other. To decorate my wreath, I'm using some leftover pumpkins from the Dollar Tree that I had in my stash. I'm using these two orange pumpkins and one of the white, and if they don't have the shades of colors that you like, you can always paint them. I'm using one stem of the white velvet pumpkins and they're two different sizes, along with one small white one from this Dollar Tree pack. Attaching them is super easy. I just added some hot glue to the bottom of the pumpkin and placed it on the wreath. I snipped the wooden stem off of this bagged pumpkin and then attached it in place. I added on another orange pumpkin and cut the three white velvet pumpkins from their stems. I then used my glue gun to attach those as well. These are the pumpkins that I decided to add to my wreath, but you can always change it up and add the size or the colors to make it your own. To add on another layer and a bit of greenery, I'm using two bunches of this Dollar Tree fall grass. I used my clippers and cut each away from the main stem. With them all cut, I began sticking them in between the grapevine wreath and having them face the outside. I want them spaced as evenly as possible, so as I was working my way around, I was just kind of eyeballing their placement.
I had a couple of the grass pieces left, so I just added them in here and there. I'm adding on more layers and colors by using two bunches of flowers from the Dollar Tree, Bittersweet and Viburnum, but any small fall flowers will work. I removed the flowers from the stems and it was super easy because they all just popped right off. Make sure you don't throw any of your stems away from this project because I'm going to show you a neat way to recycle them. I also removed the leaves from the stems because why have those sitting around when I can add them to the wreath? I'm using a finger protector while adding on the flowers and I picked mine up at the Dollar Tree. They sell them in a pack of three. I'm hot gluing the flowers onto the wreath and this will just help prevent me from getting a burn. I'm starting with the bittersweet and placing some hot glue here and there around the wreath and then attaching the stems. As I'm working my way around, I don't have a set placement for the flowers. I'm just kind of adding them in here and there and filling in any of the open spaces. Most of them will attach once I place them in there, but that's why I have on the finger protector because every once in a while I have to kind of tuck them in and hold them for just a second. As I'm adding them, I am doing my best to make sure that they're evenly spaced and balanced around the wreath. With the bittersweet in place, I'm now adding the viburnum and there's only five of those. So I just once again evenly space them around the wreath. And even though I'm only adding five, the yellow on the flowers really give this wreath a pop of color. And not to forget these leaves, I have so many bags of leaves from leftover projects that I decided to hot glue these four leaves into some of the open spaces. An idea to recycle the stems that came from the leaves and the flowers is to open up the stems. You can paint them and glue on some tiny leaves to use as a fall backdrop. You can even paint them black and add on some spiders and webs for Halloween. Paint them white and embellish them for Christmas or leave them plain and use them as a winter backdrop. They make cute trees and it's a great way to recycle them and keep them out of the landfill. To finish up my fall pumpkin wreath with that cute little red truck and the pumpkins, I just worked my way around fluffing up the leaves and the flowers and the bows. And now that I'm done, this sweet fall wreath is ready to hang. Well, we finally made it to the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed making this welcome pumpkin wreath with me. If you're new to my channel and you're thinking, hey, I'd like to come back and hang out with her again, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below. I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Bye everybody.